We give thanks to our families tonight. Too many families across the country grieve the loss of a military family member. As we've discovered, one kids camp here in Wisconsin is giving the gift of thanks on this Thanksgiving in a very unique way. I think one of the I think possibly one of the greatest Thanksgivings I will probably ever have. 15-year-old Dylan Simon is about to go on a cruise with his mother Regina. Doing something completely different than we've ever done for Thanksgiving. Different because they're doing it without Dylan's father and Regina's husband, Marine Staff Sergeant Chad Simon. An IED exploded under the vehicle and killed three instantly and severely injured the passenger and my husband and we attempted to rehabilitate him over nine months with a traumatic brain injury and to no avail. He never recovered. He died August 4th, 2005. His advance directive said that he didn't want to be kept alive in that state and so we let him go, which has been very hard. It's a tragic loss made a little easier for Dylan at the Wisconsin-based Camp Hometown Heroes. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye, Bye, Mom. Dylan recently took part in the camp, designed for children who've lost loved ones serving in the military. I do a soccer ball because me and my dad just play soccer together before he died. Here, the kids open up, including Dylan, who spent years holding it in. Every day, I usually pour out the happiness into my days, and then I let the anger, hate, and all that other stuff overflow, and then I just lose myself. The week long camp combines fun and healing creating lifelong bonds between kids who unfortunately share a similar loss. For me, I'm getting a little emotional because it's kind of a reunion for us. As Regina looks around at Mitchell Airport, emotions flood back, surrounded by other families here from Camp Hometown Heroes, which is taking the camp onto the high seas. We're just kind of answering their call, you know, to really um, pay tribute to their family and take care of their family, do something positive for them. Jim Kazmarek is the camp's co-founder and is a driving force of sending these military families on a fun and healing cruise on this Thanksgiving. We're just excited that they get a chance to enjoy a week of time and forget about everything and just be a family. For Regina, it's a week to heal together with her son Dylan. I'm looking forward to um, just some one-on-one -on -one time with him to connect. I brought a lot of pictures of his dad that we haven't looked at together in a long time, if at all. The families are on that cruise right now. Each kid's way to Camp Hometown Heroes is made possible with private donations. And if you'd like to find out more about the camp, we set up a link for you on our website, WISN.com.